Hello, happy holidays. My living room is still a mess from unpacking, unpacking, unwrapping Christmas gifts on Christmas day. But anyway, today was supposed to be like a chill get work done day, but it's slowly turning into a, I wanna redo my whole entire bedroom day. So I thought I might as well start recording it and depending on what I do, I might make another like home reno vlog. We got, I'm cleaning the bedroom right now. So this is our current bedroom bed set situation. So this is our comforter and this is our wallpaper. As you can tell, our comforter and our wallpaper are pretty much the same color. And that's because we got this comforter right when we moved into the house and it was before I put the wallpaper up or even knew what I was gonna do with this wall. And I don't like the comforter anymore. Plus it's very like ruined from the dogs and the cat just like clawing at it all the time. So I got a new comforter. Here is the new comforter. It looks like really bright yellow, but it's actually more of like a mustard. And then we got some of these like fun sheets. So I'm gonna clean up the bedroom, finish cleaning it, and then I'll swap out the sheets. And then I'm also debating finding a wallpaper for these huge closet doors. So they're, they're sliding closet doors, and I'm thinking of just like putting a wallpaper on them to make them a little bit more like fun. Um, but yeah, we'll see. I'll keep you updated on if if I get anything else today or if this is just the only thing I do is the bedspread and then this clip makes it randomly into some other vlog. So change of plans. I went to go vacuum the ba the bedroom and our vacuum like died, is broken, dead. Which is fine by me because we've hated that vacuum for so long. We have a Bissell cordless. I can't remember the exact model, but it basically is trash garbage. Uh, picking up hair on the carpets or anything. It sucks. So I'm kind of relieved that it's dead. So now we're gonna go buy a new vacuum and we're gonna buy a new vacuum that we've been eyeing for a long time, but just haven't pulled the trigger on it because we were making excuses. But now we don't have an excuse anymore. So we're gonna go get it. And we watched this guy on YouTube. I think his handle is Vacuum Wars. And this was his number one pick for 2022 best cordless vacuums. So very excited. <laughs> All right, we got the vacuum. We got Shark Stratus, Stratos cordless. And I feel like I'm a proper adult now because I'm thoroughly excited about our new vacuum. But I, so Rhett and I actually did a lot of research on vacuums for the past like three to four months because we have not had the best history with vacuums. So we have a Bissell cordless now. And then before that, we had a Dyson cordless, and both of them were just not very good at picking up the hair in our house from our animals, mainly from our Australian Shepherd Bernice Mountain Dog mix. Jimbo, this, this little boy right here, he sheds a lot and he has really long hair. So it was really, really hard for those vacuums to suck anything up properly really and so we knew with this one this time around we wanted to do research we wanted to watch review videos and get as much information as we can to help us decide what vacuum we wanted to get and that's when we found the youtube channel vacuum wars i'll link his channel down below if you guys are interested where that's all his channel is is reviewing v vacuums cordless corded robot vacuums like everything and we watched some of his videos and his video that he released about a month ago, he did um, the best cordless vacuums for 2022 and the Shark Stratos was his number one overall pick. So that's what we got. And it is $4.49 on Amazon. So it's not a cheap vacuum, but I did find it actually at Walmart today for $3.59. So it is possible to find deals. I'm super excited to unbox it unbox it, test it out, and let you guys know how it does. <laughs> Bet you didn't think you would get vacuum content today, did you? Me neither. Here she is in all her glory. 
So what I like about it is that this dustbin is way bigger than the one we had previously. And then it's multi-flex. So to store it, you actually press this and then it goes down and it stores like that. Oh, one thing it doesn't have, which could be a pro or con, depending on what is your priority, is it doesn't have a wall mount. Like our Bissell and our Dyson had like a wall mount battery charger that you just mount the vacuum to and it charges the battery at the same time. This doesn't, this just folds like that, but it does have an interchangeable battery. So we could buy a second battery and then swap those out whenever the other dies and keep one charging and the other one in the thing. So that's pretty cool. Oh, I forgot to show you. This is our pocket door. It's finally been installed. Woohoo! Opens smoothly and closes smoothly. The only thing is because it was so cold, I guess the paint didn't dry like completely all the way and it's scraping at the bottom on both sides. So that's kind of annoying. That is something I'll fix later on. Just do like a quick paint touch up and leave it to dry. So we'll do that and then, yeah, but let's get to the fun stuff. breath from changing that bed sheet that's kind of that is all I have that's all I have for you today nothing else super eventful happened so I hope you found this little mini vlog enjoyable and fun uh, let me know what you think of my bedspread also let me know if we should get a headboard because I constantly go back and forth on whether or not I want to get a headboard so any advice would be helpful there but other than that Thanks for being here. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, and stick around for more home DIY stuff, vlogs, randomness, things like that. And tomorrow I'm going to be posting my 2023 goals and going through my vision board. So keep an eye out for that if you want to get a little bit inspired and have a little fun. Maybe you can create a vision board while you're watching my video. But yeah, thanks for being here and I'll talk to you later. Bye. <laughs>